Hey, you guys. Hey, Amina's <laughs> oversharing again. <laughs> سبيل الدموع سبيل مريح تنهد يا صاحي كي تستريح وغث الدعاء الخفي الصريح يسعك الفضاء الرحيم Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Morning people I woke up for fresh well, Me and my husband had woke up for fresh And I went back to bed Because I was still super super tired And we have like a whole lot to do Today Tomorrow Day after tomorrow It's about to be hectic um, This weekend I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can um, I'm not going to tell y'all beforehand what we're going to do. I just want y'all to watch the video and kind of experience the weekend with us. Um, inshallah. So, yeah, that's my ceiling fan because clearly I'm not dressed if I'm still in bed. <laughs> so, um, what I'm about to kind of do now is I'm about to get up, make the bed. And I got some laundry to fold. Hey guys, I'm about to make me a cup of coffee. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody. I'm about to make me a cup of coffee because I just oh, am so tired. <laughs> you see how he drink me, y'all? It's only it's like 8:40 in the morning. He already started looking. But yeah, this thing is empty, so I'm about to put some water in it. And then, um, you was using my Starbucks? Shh. Huh? Yo, everybody know how to make coffee, man. <laughs> I'm not showing nobody how to make coffee. Dang. Y'all, he, I don't know what's up with him. But I'm about to make my coffee. I, I told y'all earlier, I had to fold some laundry and iron the stove. And then we're going to get ready for June. We usually leave around like 12, 30, so... I'm going to try to get all that stuff done before then. All right. So, this is my outfit on the left and my husband's outfit on the right. <clears throat> um, Abaya and Shumar from Medina Paris. Naqab is from only from my husband. That's part of the collection that was like a long time ago, but I never got those back in. So, yeah. But I, I kept one for myself, of course. And my husband's coat is from Berta. Oh, shout out to Berta. I would have matched him today, but he be like instinct when I match him. Um, he be thinking I'll be stealing his style or like whatever. Ain't nobody stealing your style. It look cute to match. <laughs> but anyways, cream still does match blue a little bit. But I'm going to kind of like off put that with the black. Um, I'm going to wear black gloves and my black Crocs. And yeah, it's going to be beige and black today. Okay. Now I got my coffee. And I'm about to go and fold this laundry, make the bed, and just get that stuff situated. And then I'll um, iron the clothes. Go ahead and make, uh, make my rusu, um, read my surtukas, uh, and then pretty much be ready. Oh, and then I also have to make a list because we probably got to go to Walmart. I need a, uh, some just some couple of things like ketchup and stuff like that because I'm doing a fridge organization today. Hopefully my stuff come from um, Amazon early so that I can get it done early, but it says on the Amazon app that it's going to come at like before 10 p.m., but hopefully it comes early. I have like six packages coming <laughs> today, so I might do like a little ASMR unpackaging thing too. I don't know. We'll see, but I'll check with y'all in a little bit, all right? 
Assalamualaikum you guys. Well, I'm all ready and just, it's, what time is it? It's 12.20, we're about to leave in about 10 minutes. Um, I'm probably gonna be driving again. But, uh, got me some iced coffee and some water. Cause sometimes it be hot. Um, and then inside the mash it, I be getting windy, you know what I'm saying? So I got to have water. I got two bottles of water in the freezer right now, freezer right now, so that I have it just in case I get super, super thirsty. But <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about changing this new cap because it's kind of making me a little too hot. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, that feels much better. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're about to get ready to leave. Babe! What? You ready? All right, well, it's time to go, y'all. See y'all in a minute. Okay, you guys, Juma is over. Um, I wasn't able to vlog, of course, because I was driving, and then when I got here, it was kind of late, so I didn't want to, like, stop and make a video, so. And I got the keys this time, so I don't have to go find my husband and be like, let's go. Um, so I'm about to go ahead now and call him okay I'm call him right now Assalamu alaikum you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'll be ready. Okay. Uh, you got the bananas? All right, sis. Good looking. All right, I'm on my way down. <laughs> Bye. He's so goofy. But, yeah. Oh, my auntie just texted me. I got to text her back. I got a whole bunch of stuff I got to do today. I got to send our emails for my class. I'm going to have to postpone it until later in the week. Um, because I got just too much going on this weekend. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then, um, what else? I'm trying to get my husband to go to, I gotta go to the post office because my mom need me to, um, mail something out for her. One, two, I gotta go to the, um, uh, I want to go to the Somali market so that I can get a um, some bati, some house clothes because like um, I need some comfortable house clothes especially for after I give birth so I just want kind of want to get it now probably like just five pieces where I could just slip it on or whatever and then I need some summer jilbabs some summer abayas and stuff like that and then I wanted to see if they had some um, niqabs um, one layer niqabs that I might like or whatever so we'll see if we have time to do that and then also we have to go to Walmart so um, yeah but I'll check in with y'all as time goes on update y'all on what, what we doing what the plan is inshallah alright Hey, you guys. Hey, a me over sharing again. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, um, we start to get something to eat because I, you know, it was my idea actually to get something healthy. Um, it was my idea. I know where I'm going. I'm not even going. I'm going to kill me crazy. You can go to chop on there. Oh my gosh. Now he want to switch up last minute. But yeah, we're in this plaza again. Same plaza we was in last time. But I'm gonna let y'all know what we get in a minute. So, yes, we ended up going to Kill Me Crazy. Um, but this is the dining area. Oh, this is me trying to be cute, <laughs> fixing my kneecap. But we ended up sitting down to eat. It was a really nice day outside, and I was out of breath, so I was like, let's just sit down and eat. Um, but the dining area is really nice and whatnot. 
I ended up getting a salad with a smoothie and then my husband got a chicken pesto wrap with a smoothie as well. Assalamualaikum. Just got home. My husband bringing in the groceries now and my packages from Amazon came. And I might do enough packaging if I get the chance, but other than that, I'll show y'all what came in. Um. Oh, and I did go to the Somali market and got some clothes. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got too in a minute. All right. Okay, so I didn't vlog everything I was doing, but I pretty much put the um, groceries away um, and then I organized the fridge. Ooh, I'm so excited. It looks so good. I'm going to show y'all in a minute, but I wanted to do a little haul, show y'all what I got from the Somali market real quick. Um, this is an abaya I got. Just a regular black abaya. So I can wear my himars with because the one that I have is kind of like low-key see-through. And this one's material is kind of a little bit thinner, but not see-through. So, yeah. And then I got a himar. A one-piece himar to go with it. Um, Top part so I can show you. Okay, yeah. So it's the part that I tie at the top. So this was forty, thirty-five dollars, and then the um, she gave me the Avaya and the Fimar for fifty. That was a really good deal. Um. And then I got a one piece jabab. This is like a deep gray. I thought it was black, but deep gray is fine too. I don't mind. I just needed like a new, like plain jabab that wasn't too thick. Because the mistake I made, like this is from Medina Paris. Now it's not like super, super thick, but it be getting hot. So, um, Oh, and I also got this new pad. Like, I honestly just threw something on so I could record this real quick. Um, and then I got these three bodies. Um, I got this color. This color. And this color. It was $6 each. So all in all, I spent about $100, got three house outfits and two out outfits like to go out. But um, yeah, now let me show y'all what the fridge look like now. Okay. Okay. Okay, now the rest of the stuff ain't really that organized because there's really not that much organized. Like, I'm not about to put pickles in a different jar because we don't be eating pickles like that. But all this stuff right here is stuff that we either use on a daily or need to start using on a daily because we're trying to get healthier. Um, I put leftovers in that and in the bottom, all the raw meat. The only raw meat that's up here is the bacon and it's right there. But yeah, so I'm pretty much about to get ready for bed. Um, I already played my grip. Yeah, I'm pretty tired. I did a, a lot today. So yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow we got two things to go to, I believe. I believe, yeah. So. I'll check in with y'all tomorrow morning. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hey guys. Um... No, no, no. No. <laughs> so, just a quick update. No updates. We are going to the halal meat market and then we're going to go on a walk. And then we're going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then there's this. um. 
lecture workshop type thing oh, at the master. Yeah, right. that we're going to. I'm so excited. It's um, what's the name of it? A uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, how to preserve your marriage. Oh yeah, how to preserve your marriage. So that's where we're going right now. I got this over my face because. I don't have enough all up on right now and because I'm about to go on a walk, I'm not about to suffocate myself, so I'm not wearing any fog out. Um so yeah, earlier this morning, just to recap y'all on what I did, I um I organized <laughs> I organized the pantry and I I made some breakfast for me and my husband. Um well, I think that's pretty much all I did. And I've been chilling here ever since. Um, yeah. I kind of want to make some fried fries for dinner. Hmm. That would be good. Yeah? You feeling some fried fry today? Yeah, some fried fry would be good. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I'm going to make some fried fry today. Um, I got everything that I need, really. Um, yeah, so... I'm gonna do that and then yeah yeah i was supposed to have class this week um with my students but we were actually supposed to go to this other workshop this morning but my husband had stuff to do so we couldn't go but i had already canceled the class and sent them emails to um, reschedule for it during the week so yeah and then also i have something to do tomorrow what are we doing tomorrow Oh, yeah, we gotta go to the farm. Matter of fact, seeing that, let me go go ahead and get that address. But yeah, I'll check in with y'all in a little bit. Where we're going to walk is so nice. Can't wait to show y'all. So this is the Halal Meat Market. A lot of people ask me where I get my beef bacon, Halal beef bacon from, and that's where I get it from. They got a lot of other stuff. I don't really do a lot of shopping here mostly what i get is meat sometimes we'll get rice um frozen stuff they got frozen chicken nuggets fro frozen chicken tenders um oh yeah we get our hot links from here too anything meat related we get here because of course like Publix and stuff don't have a lot of meat <laughs> okay so this is where we went on our walk uh this is the atlanta belt line which is like super long but this is my first time ever being on it um this is where we we walked for like maybe two miles this is so nice hey ain't you from new york or something Don't y'all be eating bacon eggs and cheese sandwiches or something? <laughs> <It's> not funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you from New York even? Do you know what a bucket cap is even? I want to show y'all this real quick. It says Stumpery. <laughs> I can't even say it. Stumpery Garden. Look at it, y'all. It's so nice and green. I ain't sitting on it, though. But it look nice. It look beautiful. Nice. Y'all, we been walking for a minute. We done walked so far, I can't even see the car. I don't even know where the car is. I ain't that much. Yes, we did. Stop. Stop. Yo. Stop. Exactly. Yo, for real. Thank you. Come on, he's letting me go. Why you be saying, come on, like I can run? You need to step it up, man. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, now we're at the, look, see? Now this is the Atlanta Belt Line. Cool. We, this, yeah. See, now we got, oh, by the way. This is yeah. the sign that says Belt Line for me. If you put your right phone there. there pay attention to your instruction. What? Look, Stop. you see this thing right here? You see this? Yeah, oh, you see my gosh. You ain't see that big thing that said Atlanta Beltline? This is the Beltline, baby. This is all part of the Beltline. Oh you didn't know that, honey? <laughs> anyways. Anyways, y'all. Look at this beautiful scenery. 
I'm trying to get my steps in. You know what I'm saying? Fitness gang gang. Okay, got my Apple Watch on. Got my water Boy. canteen. Okay. Look at the sky. It's so beautiful. I'm so so this is when we were walking um on the bat line still it is such a nice scene like i really enjoyed it honestly <laughs> as you can see i had my compression socks on and my um my crocs because my feet were swollen like some of the stuff you think that they be making up, oh, your feet going to get swollen, your face going to get swollen when you get pregnant. No, all that stuff is true. And it didn't hit me till after like six months. That's when my face started getting swollen, my feet, sometimes my hands. It was ridiculous. But um, they said it helps to walk, elevate your feet when you're sitting down and whatnot. So that's what we're doing today, trying to get myself together. Y'all, look, they got a little mat back there. This Miss Karen restaurant. So, alaikum, you guys. So, after we came back from the walk, uh, we prayed, took a little nappy nap because <laughs> I was exhausted. We walked like a good two miles. So, right now, uh, we about to go to this uh, workshop at the masjid. It's between mug group in Isha and it's how to preserve your marriage. I'm so excited. This is the first workshop I've been to at this masjid and I'm really looking forward to it. And I and I feel like we really need to go to this workshop because my husband like did the unthinkable and ate my cupcake. So I feel like this this so workshop I feel like this workshop will really benefit us. <laughs> I feel like we need this workshop because you don't eat pregnant women food. That's for one. What? What? Yeah. You don't eat pregnant women food. So I just feel like mad disrespected. And I don't think he was considering me when he, um, to do that hold on that's me trying to be cute again but so we went ahead and left the house um so like i was saying before i've never been to a workshop at this masjid before um i just started going to the masjid when i moved here because this is the masjid my husband went to but this masjid has a lot of free classes even if you aren't able to attend physically you can attend online they always live stream their um halakas and um juma lectures as well so that's another thing I like about this mesh. It, it is super, super community oriented. Everything is, um, you know, involved in the community and the sisters. Even the sisters have their own separate group chat as well where they um, exchange knowledge and whatnot. So this is just us on the ride there. And because I don't want to use background music, which is why I'm kind of narrating the ride um but yeah it's a pretty smooth ride it's about i would say 20 to 20 20 to 30 minutes drive to the masjid um it's not that far hopefully in the future we'll be able to move a little closer once our family becomes a little bigger that's what i'm hoping for inshallah may allah grant us that i mean but as you can see, Georgia is very, very green compared to all the other cities that I've lived in. Detroit, um, Ohio, it was not this green in the cities that I lived. Because it doesn't look like a gel when you first it look looks, at it. It looks everything like a gel. Honestly, you don't know what gel's like. As soon as you look at that, you can tell that's a gel. I know you're seeing a lot of green trees and stuff, but we're about to pull up to the mansion. I promise. Um... You're going to see, oh my gosh, this sunset is so pretty, mashallah. So, yeah, I really like this masjid. They keep it really nice and tidy. On Fridays, they have security for parking and stuff like that. As you can see, the boys playing basketball. But this masjid, the women's side is as equally as spacious as the men. So, we are here at the masjid. 
um, I'm not going to be vlogging at all in the next year. I don't really um, do that. But um, I'm going to be taking notes on my iPad. So, um, so I'll let you guys know afterwards how it went and how I liked it. This is my first workshop, us coming together. So, inshallah, it goes good. Um, you looking for these? Huh? You looking for these? Here he come. All right, I'll talk to y'all up later. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Just got home. Um, the workshop was really nice. I took a lot of notes and stuff like that. Um, but about to end the night. Super tired. Just wanted to check in with y'all a little bit. Um, we got an early start tomorrow. We got to be out the house probably like 9.30, 9 o'clock. Not sure. But I'll let y'all know where we going. When we get there, I want it to be kind of like a little surprise. It might not be a surprise because it might be already in the um in the title <laughs> of this vlog. But yeah, <laughs> all right. I said now I like to see y'all in the morning. Sound like a all right. Um, good morning. We are about to head out. So you gonna forget your headphones up there? Wow! You see, wow! <laughs> you see, you see the benefits. That's what the ma the imam was talking about last night. The benefits of a wife. You better not spray them with that hose. All right, y'all, in the car. So, if you don't know by now, we are going to a farm. A black Muslim owned farm, yes, here in Georgia. Alhamdulillah, mashallah. So, we're gonna go there to check it out and then also get some produce from them, support their business, you know. Um, and then I'm gonna give y'all a little tour. They was, I asked them if I could do it, and they was like, Yeah, of course, you know, that's cool. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna be wearing my neck off on the farm because I mean, I'm gonna probably suffocate and then we're gonna be walking around a lot, so. I'm not gonna do that. Look, it worked out because King ran, uh. left the chicken leg, and my baby got it. That's why I sprayed him. Hmm. You put the address in your phone, man. So we can use it. Now you want to use my GPS. Y'all see what I got a good thing? Hungry, man. Okay. Yeah. First of all, check out his clothes. What? Look at the tree that fell. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Who tree fell? That was weird. But yeah, Chick Fil A don't open on Sundays. to the farm it's gonna be so fun i'm so excited um and the farm's name is bread and butter um it's called bread and butter farm to table and they're located in georgia but um so like they don't just have a farm like they have a whole bunch of different stuff like they do a um farm to table dinner so like they'll do like a dinner where everything on the menu came straight from the farm which is really cool if you ask me um you can follow them on instagram at bread dot and dot butter dot farm dot two dot table <laughs> um I'll, I'll put it in the description of this video so y'all can check it out um they got chicken so we're gonna get some fresh eggs oh i'm so excited um so oh okay and they also accept ebt so you know what i'm saying get that healthy uh food you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna wait there now i'll check in with y'all when we get there it's actually like a 50 minute drive too so <laughs> So the road to the farm was 
pretty smooth. Um, it was a great scenery, as you can see. Lots of green, a lot of trees. Um, very spacious. I really liked it. We did stop and get food, of course, um, from Panera. I got me like a little latte. I didn't vlog that, though, because I was just so hungry. Um, <laughs> on the way there, though, we did end up kind of like passing it. Um, and then we had to do a U-turn. Um, so that see, that's us passing it right there. So we did the U-turn and then we was able to find the driveway so that we could go into the farm. <laughs> Oh wow! Um, and then this is their first year, it's so you first. Know what I'm saying? we're, we're babies. We're babies. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm loving it already. <laughs> yeah. So we just, we're just introducing them to the, the CSA model. So, yeah. Okay. Well, well, we introduce us to the CSA. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's really, really we're trying cool. to um, create that space in Sparta, though, that is yeah. a getaway spot right. that like educational spa that's just so when you say educational oh, mm -hmm. yeah, I would like to sign it. Yeah, we're to, <laughs> like we're trying to get into Yeah, it's a nice um, indoor. They have like indoor factory um that's right there on the spot. So everything is um it's so funny how it's set up because it's a urban rural like kind of the situation. Weirdest. So you have this block in the country country, like it is, everybody speak, everybody sell on their porch, but you have these huge food palaces, you have this um, old cotton factory. Yeah. Where, where turned, is this at? It's in Sparta. Yeah. Okay. So they turned it into a, um, it was a cotton factory that they converted over to mushrooms. Furniture. Oh, furniture, you're right, yeah, it was doing a furniture factory. Um, and then now it's uh, mushroom production. So we're trying to get into that space of <laughs> everything certified organic. The farmer that's getting rid of it is retiring. He's aging out. So mm. he's giving us, like, I would say the deal of the, I mean, when how did that happen? Well, we started already. So the mushrooms are already starting. So we're having mushrooms yeah. next week. Um, oh, okay. So you already nice. got, you've already acquired some space. So what all will you be growing up there? Everything. Um, we everything. <laughs> wow. Nice. Wow. So we should be able to uh, continue what we're doing here, but just on a, a larger scale. So this may be tumor wow. and ginger here. This may be tumor and ginger. And then animals. Nice. Some, some goats. So will you still stay here? or? No. Okay, you won't be here at all. No, we'll be wow. here just for the garlic, turmeric, ginger. Just to harvest those. Just to harvest those things. Okay. And then um, one of the things we're going to try to do, so one of the people that we're trying to get on our board of directors is uh, she used to work at that farm mm -hmm. and she created the internship program with uh, Oberfort. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping to have the intern kind of students work there, here, and with a sheep farmer there in Sparta. So to have that rotation, right? Okay. How the farm oh, regeneratively, awesome. right? So no till, no... No till, y'all. Yeah. No till. This <laughs> land is not... I'm so excited about wow. that. This land has not been tilled in 20 years. Yeah, okay, yeah. Wow. 20 years just adding I'm a nerd when it comes to this but adding organic matter on top of just yeah. that's wonderful yeah. Yeah. that's dope yeah. 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 when you open it up for a tour or open house or whatever sign me up I would yeah. love to see that yes. yeah. absolutely <laughs> And a bed and breakfast. Oh, that's a man. Oh my gosh, yeah. that would be nice. The, the, um, <laughs> 42, 48, I think, house that's on the site that we're trying to get. Wow. And when I tell y'all this house would be like ideal for bed and breakfast, like it's, that's it's nice. a huge, huge do. plantation house. Like it's a huge, beautifully yeah. just kept up home. Um, and you so, can do education packages with yeah. your bread and bread. Yeah. Oh, That's wow, so, what a great setup. Yeah. yeah. You do something in the summer, I'll bring my grandkids to learn about this. It's oh, important. Yeah. I really yeah, don't want important. them to be dependent on commercial food oh, yeah. production. Yeah. Our you know, system is collapsing. Know it's collapsing. We, we were just talking about that. Yes, I own a trucking company. So. And every time I go somewhere and I see the price of diesel, and I'm just saying to myself, like, okay, diesel is going up. The bigger companies are charging consumers more for shipping, mm -hmm. but they're not paying the truckers more to carry the freight. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, how is it like, it, wow. it, on both sides, the big corporations are making more money, but the small guy in between mm -hmm. is being squeezed yeah, until he could barely squeeze. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. It's not even, but it's not even political. It ain't even Democrat Republican. This is this is economics. You understand what I'm saying? It's just exactly. it's a green. It's party yeah, it's not party yes. specific. It's green. It's green. You mm-hmm. understand? And it's you see that all the time. We went. I went into Walmart. I was telling we went into Walmart Friday just to get some little stuff for the house. And after I, they rate. Uh, Check me out. I said, dang. I said, this inflation is really something. She said, well, I said, because this same stuff would have cost me about a hundred and some dollars mm-hmm. last year. Mm-hmm. And now I'm at 200 and something for the same the item. Yeah. 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 That's, real. That's why we stopped doing the, the farm to table meal prep. Yeah. Yeah. Because everything was just, and no one can't, could afford yeah. the prices when you price yeah. it the way it should be. They yeah. What you paying for stuff. Right. Yeah. 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 So we just cut that off. So. Uh, um, well, but y'all are more than welcome. Let me know if y'all uh, want to come out every week or however y'all want to do it. I want to try the. I'm gonna try to go to the market next okay. Saturday. Okay. But when you tell me other vendors are there, I'm like, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's a, to it's my a lot of good farmers there too um, that grow really good. Have good, good practices and everything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, you'll see me on Saturday next okay. week. All right. All right. Bye. 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 Thank, thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Salam alaikum. Hey, my How you doing? Good, Leo. What's going on? I'm good. Thank you, Allah. Good. Good. Salam alaikum. Why you so? I had noticed. This is dope, man. This is dope, though, man. Yeah. Yeah. I've been working on my tan all day. Yeah, yeah. Mashallah. <laughs> so we we put we put all we took all the males out because so they 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 killed me they pulling all the hair out there oh yeah so we had to separate them you had to separate them <laughs> and they fifty so they smaller than all the other hens ah. they tiny but they 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 on them so wow. we had to separate them so we put them out here. And it's like, yeah, y'all do y'all thing. We're going to feed y'all, but y'all got to feed y'all. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to clean up here. They're going to clean over there. <laughs> 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 they going to do some eggs and stuff. So uh, nice. They're good. You know what I'm saying? Um, but other than that, man, yeah, this is our little space, man. I'm going to lie. We was, uh, we was raised right down here. Oh, you were? Yeah, I don't know. What, I, I think y'all came from this way. No, we came from that way. Yeah. But then I, I passed the entrance. Okay. So I had to you turn back around. Yeah, okay. Right. So this house, down, this first house right here, uh-huh. We used to house beside it. Okay. And then everything behind that, it was no houses over there, but everything behind that, we was like all of all this, all, all of this over here. And then my grandfather was right down here. My uncle was right down here. My grandmother was about down here. And um, before we moved in, you know, they helped build that church and stuff like oh, that. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. So, um, so yeah, I, I don't know. A lot know. of history in the town. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Difficult for people to really rationalize a little bit. So, most people see what they see. Mm-hmm. So off of this bed right here, for example, like we made close to like three hundred dollars. Okay. Right off of the same produce mm-hmm. because we pull, and you can see what they the little things been broken off. So we pull, and then they just grow back. Okay. You just pull uh-huh. and leave the things back. Mm-hmm. Same thing here. So we've been pulling since March. How often do you pull? Can you pull? Like- we pull every week. Okay. So, gotcha. and we have two beds of pretty much everything we pull from. Okay. But then we have everything in other spaces too. Other spaces you know what I'm saying? Too. So, okay. and we try to let it grow back. You know what I mean? Only things that don't grow back, of course, are your root veggies. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So, um, everything else is just what it is. So, but we're not even, like, we ain't weeding right now. Mm-hmm. We ain't, we ain't doing no okay. We're just planting and pulling. That's right. That's, That's it. That's and it. so, what are you going to keep here? Just uh, so we're going, we're going to clear all of this. So mm. next week, um, I'm, I'm pretty positive all of this is going to be out. Mm-hmm. And every single bed, except for these tomatoes right here mm-hmm. and the basil down there and the squash, everything else is going to be tilled in. We're going to plant oat straw. Oat straw is a cover crop and it basically puts in nutrients into the soil. Mm-hmm. So the reason why we don't use chemicals is because we focus on the soil. So we have compost tea with humic fovic, um, mycorrhizae, stuff like that. And we just put that into the soil and you know, it, I'm the lab man, it does the thing. So, um, and this, we typically don't even grow in this field. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is our first year literally growing past here. Last year, I think this is, this may, it may not be that, it may be down here, but this is the first time we ever, Grew past this. So, same thing here. Um, all the stuff that we had in like February, January, we already cleared out. We cleared out. Yeah. And then we just replace it with summer crops. You know what I'm saying? So, these cabbages will be ready in like another three weeks, four weeks. So, 
the way down, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. After that, we're just gonna till this in yeah, and just sit it. Uh, so, so that's when we planted the garlic yeah. in October. And then, so then we planted this last year in October. This is the garlic right here. Uh, so it'll be ready to pull in another month. So it's already mm -hmm. starting to turn brown a little bit. Uh -huh. So the, all the bulbs will be ready in another month or so. Okay. So, and what's this right here? That's our red Russian kale. Oh, that's a red Russian kale. Yeah. The deer can't yeah. see and I made a lot of them. Oh, the deer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They don't be playing. They don't be playing yeah. like, oh. Yeah, they laying out here sleeping, having babies. They got yeah. holes. What? Everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I got three Rottweilers, right? So my brother likes me to bring them over by his yard because he got like five, six acres he live on in Atlanta. Yeah. So I had to bring them over and just let them run around yeah. and yeah. so the coyotes don't get their yeah. scent. And all that. Yeah. <laughs> so, it works. Yeah. When we put the chickens out here. One of them got got actually a couple of them. By who? Got. By the coyotes? Something. Something. Yeah. But the deer haven't been chicken out hog. here. Y'all got been... chicken hogs out here? Oh yeah, they eat it. Oh my it's god. On here. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's just chicken. Oh my it's getting chicken. Eight it's getting chicken. Yeah, everybody eats like, chicken. It's, I feel like we be renegade farming or something. Like, yeah. everything, <laughs> everything out here, we fight against every single thing. This is why farming for us is like you gotta depend on law. You gotta be like yeah, you know yeah. about it. Because everything that tastes everything that eats, you everything, really you know what I'm saying? Show them all you get those bad effects. We leave these weeds um, on purpose. Yeah. Those um, bugs are eating our nose. So you see the difference. Yeah. 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 So you see, yeah. they're like really eating these, but they don't really mess with this. Before yeah. those were there, you know our they, plants had holes in them. They was tearing them collars up, huh? Yeah. So you see I'm thinking about that because when we came up, my aunt who raised me, and that's another thing, like black people, everybody, like we, we had a queen, so everybody would compete in their garden, yeah. wow. in their backyard. Yeah. yeah, everybody wanted to see who can grow. So I'd be in the backyard. So, you know, we used to grow uh, peppers, collard, yeah, yeah. cucumbers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she didn't really like corn because it grew too big, but the lady next door grew the yeah, corn. Yeah. yeah, everybody had gardens in their backyard when I came up there. Uh, yeah, everybody had gardens that's how, in their backyard. That's how it used to be, man. Period. Yeah. Most people had something growing. Summertime you know came, they, all of us had gardens. And that was my job. I'd be back there with the hole, like you said. You know what I'm saying? That's how it was. Like, I took over. Like, I was in, when I was in high school, I started growing it. I was like, well, my mama was like, well, I don't want to do one this year. And I was like, I'll do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah when I was young, I had to, that, that, I had to do it. But it'd be fun when it start growing. Then you go back there picking them cucumbers. Yeah. And she cooked it. Ain't, everything got cooked. Yeah. <laughs> well, it wasn't no game. I can't come out and yeah. get food. <laughs> oh my god, my youngest, woo, he come out and just yeah, he, he just sit down. He was over there looking. It's a crab apple tree right there. He was over there the other day, like, are they ready yet? Like, just stare oh, at My grandfather, like, my grandfather yet. had the apples. We all we those apples would get killed in the summertime because we ain't have money to keep running to the store. That was our snack. Them apples and them cherry trees in the yard. That one too. Yeah, we fighting with some soil issues. That's why we normally be full. Normally all this would be sold up, all that be sold up, that whole back part. But we're trying to do um, an analysis on the soil right now to see what's going on. How long does it take your tomatoes to grow, Willie? 50 days depending on what type of, at least 50 days. Okay. At the most, 100. Yeah. At, <laughs> at least 90. Yeah. At least 90. Yeah. So, and then we but, cut the whole plant and it comes back. It yeah. grows back. So, you so all of this right here, this yeah. dandelion, how many times have we cut this dandelion? At least six. Yeah. Yo, at let least. me tell you, yo, listen, no lie about my wife, no, none of my daughters believe me. You see, they, I was in um farmer's market the other day and I see them selling dandelion. Yeah. Yo, my grandmother. She used to send me outside. She's like, listen, go out there in the front yard and pick them dandelions. She used to cook them as green. Mm -hmm. So, because when my grandfather would get real sick, he'd get out there. My own, oh, nobody would run the business. So, we would be like, we'd be twisted. Yeah. So, like, she sent me across the street. George would have a chicken. He'd bring the chicken back to our backyard. He'd swing it. It wasn't no Zabia. He'd swing that joint, pop the neck. He'd bring it in the house, clean it. But she'd take those dandelions. And you know, dandelion, so I did, but I didn't know. I thought it was just poor people yeah. food. That, but that's the I'm. I think the poor people food is some of the best food. Because yes. yes. I mean, acne and sawfish is extremely beneficial. Yes. This is, we have this right here. This is our water uh, food grade. Uh, I know it don't look like it, but it is. <laughs> it's some of the best water. We buy um, well, I buy, 
I'll buy. What's the other water? What's my new favorite? Walk in the Monday. green bottle. The oh. green one. Walk the Monday. glass bottle. No, the green oh, glass uh, one I like. It's something it's spring. Joint. Yeah, it is. I'm like obsessed with this water. I go to like yeah, Publix. Right. I go to Fresh Market. <laughs> wherever I can find these bottles because I like, I don't like drinking on Facebook. <laughs> so when um I found this water, I was like, it's so good. Then I refilled that bottle with other water, and I was like, our water is better than this water. I was buying this water. I was like, I need to stop buying that. Right. Right. Oh my goodness, that looked like it tastes good. It's good. Yeah, 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 it's good. 60 degrees in the winter it feels warm because it's it's cooler mm -hmm. than outside yep so it's kind of weird how that works so. but yeah this is a space man this, yeah. this tiny little space man we're so grateful for it. Mm -hmm. um, this is so much though it's tiny but it's a lot yeah. this is a lot this is a lot so good. this reminds me of my my grandma's village in africa yeah. they would have a um there's a trail back there and then you'll see like the cows and the chickens and it's what part of africa sierra leone sierra leone yeah let's go yeah that's um somebody else came i can't remember where she was from though but she was from africa as well and she said that um she can I can't remember, but anyway, she said that same thing. She was like, This reminds me of home. She was like, Being mm -hmm. out here is so nostalgic. She hasn't been yeah. home in so long. And she was like, This is so nostalgic for me. Yeah, I told my mom, um, I was talking, <laughs> <laughs> they, they still thought that was cool. Yeah. And that's funny because my father, like, he um, he said that his grandmother, when he used to get some, mm -hmm. he used to, um, he used to get the tobacco. He used to chew the tobacco up and put it on his beef steak. Strawberries. Look at the chicken. You get some good video with me. Huh? You want to stand with the chicken? Did you get some video with me walking with him on the phone? Mm -hmm. I did. Cause I need it. Cause I'm gonna share with my followers so that they could support me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, there's a. He's very knowledgeable on this stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. His wife too. He was chopping it up. Yeah. She homeschooled. Oh, she do. All her four kids. We're gonna homeschool our son too. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I enjoy that part. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm with you on that. Man. Every last one of them. Oh, this uh, is more perfect. Yeah. Way for the education too. <laughs> so on top of that, <laughs> and they give it a bad move. Strawberry? Yeah, we'll put okay. it in the morning. So, um, that's what we about. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, strawberries. How long it take for those to grow? For your strawberries to grow? They'll bounce back in about a week. Yeah? Yeah. How long did it take for when you first plant them? We planted these last year, October. It took that long to grow? Yeah, and then they start. we start been pulling off these though for a month and a half. Okay. So, so once you plant it, it takes about a year to grow. Well, not really. Overwintering, because what that does is the roots become dormant, and then as soon as the ground warms up, it takes off. Uh, okay. So um, it just it gives them that head start. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And they, they're not really phased by frost. Uh. So everything else is typically very few things. If the cabbage, if the cabbage is a good size, it don't get frost over it. Okay. But any uh, mint, green onions, kohlrabi. Collards. Yeah, collards. Any, um... Mm -mm. You can see, um, when we've been pulling off these. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Those are collards, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've 
anytime I have something that's dead or dying, I drop it on the ground and let it break down, and it kind of goes back into the soil. Oh yeah? When you drop it on the ground, it breaks down and go back into the soil? Yeah. Wow. Oh. All over again. Uh. So all of that is like really good ways to practice like things you don't have to worry about, you know. My backyard should be well healthy with all my dog manure. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> We about to go to the chicken coop to go get some eggs, y'all. You look good. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get video on me with it? You get some fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a lot today. Yeah. Yeah. Organic leg, egg leg tumbler. Oh wow. They very talkative. <laughs> Fight for real, huh? This one, I think she's healing. They have cool, like, all her feathers on her back. Oh, no, I had to God. separate her because she was bleeding. It was just, wow. it was off. You can still see it. Like, you can yeah. see her. Um, but she's more bad now. You're stepping on my feet. Um, and they, um, we had, um, we only had two, nine? We had nine in here. Mm -hmm. that was it. And we tore down the other one over there. Mm -hmm. And we put them all in here. And now I'm hoping we have another space that's like, it's pretty huge. Right? I can't tell. I think. That's a pretty big Are y'all going to choose for all of these to spot her? Yeah. Ah, so y'all about to move. Yeah, yeah. So we kind of consolidated for a second, but that's what it is. The only thing about these, we typically wash them. If you don't wash them, they last for nine months. Are you serious? Wow. If you don't wash them, you don't wash them. Wow. Alhamdulillah, uh, you know, the chickens, they come out with this bloom and it surrounds the egg. And it, it protects the egg from any kind of viruses or anything like that. Are you mean? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so if you don't wash them, if you don't wash them, they last like, yeah, nine wow. months. So, wow. And you can just have them on your counter or somewhere cool or whatever, just sit wow. still. And you gotta put them in the refrigerator. If you do wash them, put them right in the refrigerator. That means you don't wash off the broom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And now the, the shell is, you know what I mean? Everything goes through it now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, snap. Yeah. Wow. wow. I'm telling you, man, the way. Come on, y'all gotta watch up. out. Ain't no sneaking out. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 
<laughs> she tried it. <laughs> she tried it. Y'all, this trip was so worth it. I love, love, love this farm. When y'all get a chance, check out their website. If you're in the area, support them. They really got a good thing going here. Mashallah. We got to see some chickens. And this is all around fun. We got some strawberries, some collard greens. What else did we get? Huh? What did we get? I don't know. Strawberry, collard greens, kale, um, eggs. Look at my man. <laughs> How did he get out? He's the man that can't mix them in there. Oh, wait. It's men. We got to just be where we at. Oh, Man, here you go. I'm tired. Okay, I'm not tired. They got all the property in there. They got Ooh, farms. Eggs, they got halal meat market and all of that. I'll text it to you. I got an article on them and everything. Assalamualaikum, guys. Finally made it home. And this is the end of the vlog. I really, really enjoyed our trip today to the farm. That was probably the highlight of the weekend for me. I think same thing for my husband. Um... But yeah, stay tuned for next week's vlog. Um, don't really know what we have planned next week. Probably nothing crazy. So I might just vlog something regular. I don't know. See you when it happens <laughs> or when I post. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And put that notification on. So next time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to know, inshallah. So that's it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. To love y'all for the sake of Allah and see you in my next video. Sabeel al-dumu'i, sabeel al-mureeh Tana hadaya sahi kai tastariyah Wa ghusna al-dua al-ghafi al-sariyah Yes, I can follow.